So let's check in with Fanuc, our driverless Waymo taxi, to see who is using these driverless taxis. So hey, Fanuc, who do you see as using driverless taxis mostly now? Well, it's definitely a mix, but some patterns stand out. First up, the early adopters, the tech crowd, engineers, students, startup folks. They love being first in line for anything new. Half the time, they're live streaming their ride like it's a product launch. So they're treating it like a new gadget. <laughs> exactly. It's not just a ride, it's bragging rights. Then you've got the practical riders, people who just need to get from point A to point B. They don't care who or what is driving, as long as it's safe and on time. Once they realize we don't crash into every scooter that zips by, they become regulars. Okay, techies and pragmatists. Uh, anybody else? Oh yeah, tourists. San Francisco especially. For them, riding in a driverless taxi is like going to Alcatraz or riding the cable cars. It's part of the city experience. They'll hop in just to say, I rode one. And anybody uh, hesitant to get in? Mostly older generations. Folks who grew up believing a car isn't a car, unless someone's gripping the wheel. And of course, professional drivers. You can see why it feels like competition. Fair point. So you say adoption's still going to take some time. <sighs> exactly. But here's the thing. Over time, the curve always bends. Remember when nobody trusted online shopping with their credit card? Now it's Amazon Prime all day. Same thing here. The more people ride, the less weird it feels. And pretty soon, it's just normal transportation. Okay, Fanic. Good input. Thanks for checking in with us. We'll be back in touch.